Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a blush declutter. Today we are going through my higher-end, more expensive blushes. If you guys missed it, I went through my drugstore blushes and more affordable blushes, so if you want to go watch that declutter, I will have it linked down below, but today we are going through my high-end blushes, my, my bougie blushes. Um, there may be some mixed in here that don't necessarily belong here, but this is basically the rest of my blushes, or at least most of them. So I'm going to organize these into categories by brand, and then we will go ahead and get decluttering. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have my blushes organized. You can't even see all of them, um, but we have a lot of high-end blushes. I'm about to count them. I do have a Morphe blush in here that I missed for my drugstore, and then I also have some Ofra, which I included some Ofra in the affordable, and now I'm including some in my higher end. I also don't know the price point of Nabla. And we have Kylie Cosmetics, but for the most part, this is my more luxury, expensive makeup. So we did pretty good in my drugstore declutter. I'm about to count these up and see how many higher-end blushes we have. I'm going to count, like, the Morphe and the Ofra, even though, obviously, Morphe is more affordable. Since it's in this declutter, I'm going to count it, so... We'll see how many we're starting with, and then at the end, I will count how many I'm keeping versus decluttering. So if I counted correctly, I have 52 blushes here, which is a lot. Um, that's more than my previous category, more than my drugstore blushes. So let's see how many we can get rid of. This is going to be difficult for me. It's always more difficult to get rid of the expensive stuff. Um, but let's get started. So, um, I'm gonna start with my cream blushes because that's what I did for my previous video. So, let's do some swatching. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and swatch the Morphe one. This one is called Leave a Comment. I ended up decluttering two, no, I kept two and I decluttered one of these shades just because of the shade, but... This color is so pretty that um, I feel like I have to keep that. Like, that's beautiful. So, uh, we're going to keep that. I will go through them once again at the end. If you guys watched the drugstore declutter, you know that I ended up decluttering, like, four more blushes after going through them a second time. So, I will be doing that again today. Um, we have a Nude Sticks All Over Face Blush Color in the shade Sunset Strip. This is a really pretty corally color, very summery. I love nude sticks, so I think I'm going to keep that one as well. I have Charlotte Tilbury. I will definitely be keeping this. I love this product, and it's very popular right now. Um, this is a super pretty color. As you can see, this is in the shade Pink Gasm, and it is just so beautiful. I accidentally squeezed out a lot, so I'm just going to kind of wipe that off, but <laughs> there's Pink Gasm. Got to make sure you lock these. You twist it to turn on, twist it to lock it before you store them. That way they don't leak everywhere, but this I will definitely be keeping. I have two Rare Beauty blushes. I have Grace and Joy. Grace is this more cooler toned pink shade and then I have Joy which is this super bright corally color um wow this is difficult <laughs> I kind of want to keep those this hourglass blush stick is incredible this is in the shade wonder and you guys no joke this is such a pretty color such a good formula I love this so much definitely gonna keep that then i have this rare beauty one this is nearly neutral i actually haven't ever used this before so i definitely want to try this let's go ahead and swatch it i haven't even swatched this 
It's very creamy. Um, interesting texture. Let's go ahead and swatch. Oh wow, it's very sheer, like extremely sheer. We're gonna keep that. And then I have this Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. And this is such a pretty color. I definitely will be keeping it. Um, wow. Okay, so I literally got rid of zero. So I sort of rearranged the blushes a little bit so that you could see them better. Um, but so far, we haven't gotten rid of anything. So let's look at this and see what can we get rid of. Um, so I have some Buxom blushes here, and these are their primer infused blushes. I love this formula. I love the packaging, I love the product, but I know there are some shades in here that I don't wear. So I'm gonna swatch all of these and <laughs> figure out what shades I wanna keep and which ones I wanna get rid of, and we'll start there. So here are the swatches of these blushes. So the ones I'm definitely gonna keep are this peachy one. You'll learn to know that I love peach blushes. So this one is called Mykonos. So we're definitely gonna keep that one. I also am going to keep this nude one, which it doesn't look super appealing in the pan to me for some reason, but this is actually so pretty. I have no idea how you pronounce this. It's S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S, -E -E but I'm going to keep that one as well. Uh, this deeper one I think is just a little bit too deep for me. It's really pretty. I love the color, but I just know myself and I probably won't wear it. This is in the shade G-O-A. So that one, I will declutter. That's the first one we're getting rid of. <laughs> um, then I have Dolly, which is a classic. We have Hav Havana, and we have Ibiza. So this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. I feel like I have to keep Dolly because it's like iconic. Um, this one, oh, that's not even Dolly. <laughs> this is Dolly. Let me Let me swatch this. Yeah, that's pretty. We'll keep Dolly. Um, Havana, I think I might declutter. Um, yeah, so Ibiza and Havana. They're pretty similar. Here they are swatched, these two. Um, how many did I keep? I kept two. I feel like I might stick to those two, and I'm just going to go ahead and declutter these ones. Okay, so now I'm keeping three and I am decluttering three. That was very difficult for me, just so you guys know. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to swatch some keepers. We have this Nabla blush in the shade Truth. This is such a beautiful color and formula. This is an incredible blush right here. Like, absolutely amazing. Next, we have this Lawless Blush, which is such a pretty bright, pinky coral shade. Very pigmented, very beautiful. I have a Glowish Blush by Huda Beauty. This, again, is such a pretty color. This is in the shade Caring Coral. Absolutely stunning. I have this KVD Blush in the shade Foxglove. This is really pretty, but I don't really reach for these super cool tone shades a whole lot, and I think I have a few other ones, so I think I'm going to declutter the KVD one. I have this Pat McGrath shade, which is so beautiful. It's a little bit more warm toned than the KVD, and this formula is just amazing. It's such a pretty satin matte finish, so that one's going to stay. I have this Melt powder, which uh, this is kind of like a highlighty color. Maybe this should be in my highlight drawer, but look at how shimmery and cool that is. It's like a pinky shift. It's, it's just so cool. I have to keep that. I have a few Natasha Denona products. So I have these little duos. Um, and I think I almost decluttered these, but then I decided not to. But I think I might declutter them. This is this is difficult for me because I want to keep them. I also have these bigger um, blushes, but I just don't ever use them. And they're all Natasha Denona. Maybe, I think this one is newer. I think this one came out 
when did this come out the rose cheek duo i feel like this is new so maybe i'll keep the rose cheek duo but i'm gonna get rid of the blush and glow and these blushes are so unbelievably pretty like look at the swatches there like oh my god stunning but they're gonna go because i never use them and i have so many other blushes i will be keeping mac peaches i love this color this is one of my favorite blushes ever my hand's a little bit wet <laughs> from makeup remover but so pretty absolute must here is another cheek duo from Natasha Denona. This one I will be keeping. This is the Love Cheek Duo. So pretty. I have NARS Orgasm in this large limited edition packaging. I will be keeping this. It's such a pretty blush. There's the swatch of it there. Let me open up these NARS blushes and see what we have. So we have Orgasm X, which is such a cool color. Then we have Desire, which is a hot pink. <laughs> then we have Torrid. Then this one here is Deep Throat <laughs> and Super Orgasm. Um, honestly, we're keeping every single one of these. Not even a question. I love NARS blushes and these are staying no question about it next up we have Laura Mercier and I have a ton of these I have nine of them so let me open these up and check out the colors so we have fresco which is this nude color then we have rosé another beautiful shade then we have guava which is super light then we have watermelon another beautiful shade Bellini. Man, why are all of these such pretty colors? Peach. Love this one. Probably my favorite. Passion Fruit. Then we have Sangria. And finally we have Strawberry. Okay, I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it is. Oh my god. So we're going to sit on these for a second and we're actually going to take a look at these Ofra blushes. So first I have the blush duo in Chiclet. This is in collaboration with Samantha March. This is so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this. You guys can use code PAGE for 20% off of Ofra products. And then I also have this one which is in the shade Cosmo. This is a super pretty blush shade. It's very bright. Like it's a lot this would look beautiful on deep skin tones but i'm actually going to keep it because if i go in with the lightest little bit it's actually so pretty and this is just i love ofra i love this color i haven't kept any crazy colors yet so we're gonna keep that one because it's a little bit intense for me but i think it's it's good to have options I have a few hourglass blushes this one's staying sublime flush then we have diffused heat staying my patrick ta blushes are gonna stay i have this one which is called she's sincere and then i have she's passionate which is another really pretty color then i have this kylie one this is in the shade pink dreams so beautiful this is not looking good <laughs> I have this Tom Ford blush, which I will be keeping. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued, but I spent a lot of money on that, so we're going to keep it. I have California. Stunning. I also just saw today that uh, Benefit is coming out with new blush shades, which is so exciting. And then we have Georgia, which obviously, and then Charlotte Tilbury. This is a more cool-toned blush, which I'm going to keep. This is Pillow Talk, and this is really pretty... I do enjoy this product a lot so we're gonna keep it now for these why do I want to keep every single one um so, okay so strawberry is staying peach staying uh, this nude one is called fresco staying this one sangria oh my god I literally want to keep all of them I like I can't I can't decide here why is this so hard? Okay, so I'm gonna keep these open over here as we reevaluate the ones that I decided to keep because I literally do not want to get rid of a single one of these. 
but I'm keeping too many. So far we've only decluttered seven and I started out with 52. So <laughs> we need to get rid of some more. So um, let's, let's take another look at this. Okay, so I am struggling big time here, guys, because I opened up all of these blushes and every single one of these truly makes me so happy. Um, and I don't want to get rid of any of them. And this is tough because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments. I'm going to get some negativity down below. Um, but I don't want to get rid of any more. Like, I'm so happy with what's in front of me. And I, uh, going through these again, I thought I was going to want to get rid of some. But I can't think of a single one that I want to get rid of. Um, I have this little pile over here. My... Natasha Denona, these three Natasha Denona, the three Buxom, and the KVD. But everything else, I feel like they look very similar on camera, but in person, they're all very different. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh boy, this is a fail of a declutter. This is like the biggest fail declutter I think I've ever had. So please... If you can refrain from commenting negatively in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Um, but I think I'm going to end up keeping all of these. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this so difficult? I love blush so much. I guess I'm going to <laughs> close all these up. Even though it's like so fun to look at these, like this is so pretty. Um, but I'm going to close all these up, put them in the drawer. They're not going to be organized how they will permanently. I don't have like all my organizers pulled out and everything. But I will put them in the drawer. I currently have my drugstore blushes in here. So that's what, those are the drugstore blushes that I'm keeping. This is my declutter pile from my drugstore. And this is, this is a lot. So um, I'm going to go through these. If there's anything last minute that I want to declutter, um, but I really don't think that there is. Alright guys, so here's my blush drawer. I have my high-end and my drugstore blushes in here. Um, maybe in the future. Well, definitely in the future I will go through these again, but for now, literally this drawer makes me so happy and that is what my goal was here. I got rid of some stuff, um, and uh, especially in the other declutter. If you want a more satisfying declutter, go watch the drugstore one. I'm sorry this one was such a flop. I truly did not think it would be, but um, I just have so many blushes that I love. Blush is one of my favorite makeup items, so yeah, that's, that's going to be it for today's video. I only decluttered seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I decluttered 20 from my other declutter, so total I decluttered 27 blushes between my two videos. So I'm happy with that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was more of a blush collection video, I suppose, but that's going to be it for today. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.